everybody, Jim Dilo here, part of Jed in the region with a special report, and we are honored to have on the air right now with us the head of Homeland Security in the United States of America, and that is Janet Napolitano. Janet, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, calling into the middle of America where we have the same concerns that you guys do in Washington, and one of those is what are we going to do about immigration? Now, you're a, a supporter right now of the some of the immigration plans that are on the board. You also have as your interest to help make this country safer. How does this immigration plan or some of the proposals make the United States safer? Oh, it does in a, in a number of ways. First, it's the strongest border security plan we've ever had, and it's funded, so uh, we will be doubling the size of the Border Patrol. We'll be adding hundreds of miles of new fencing, adding technology to the border, which is a big force multiplier, and air cover, uh, adding to the air cover we already have down there. And uh, so the the border security part of the bill, very, very strong. And I'm speaking now as a secretary, but also former governor of Arizona. So know that border very well. It, it deals with employers who continue to hi, hire illegal labor and kind of undercut the market for lawful American workers. So we want to have more tools there. The bill gives us those. It reforms the visa system and addresses uh, needs we have in our economy for high-skill and low-skill workers uh, throughout the United States. And finally, from a law enforcement perspective, it brings the 10 million or so already illegally in the country out of the shadows. They, they register. We can capture their biometrics. We can capture other information about them. Uh, we will know who they are, where they are from a security law enforcement standpoint. That's all good. You know, you're talking about high skill, the, the visa. Let's take that one. As uh, you may well know, we're on the southern end of the Chicago metropolitan area, very industrial area. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our swings in unemployment. And we have our, uh, I guess, controversies around labor, heavy, heavily unionized area. If you make it real easy for, or not real easy, a little bit more streamlined, let's say, for folks to get their visas and so forth, uh, callers have uh, admitted to some sort of fears that American workers eventually could be displaced out of their jobs. How do you meet with that one? Well, because the, the bill requires employers to take uh, some very strong affirmative steps to show that they have tried to find and to hire American workers uh, before they can hire internationally, and I think those steps are are, are the reason why uh, organized labor uh, in Washington D.C. is strongly behind the bill. Yeah, organized labor, of course, very strong in this area, and they have uh, been on the the airwaves here, uh, showing their support also on this. In terms of uh, border security, all sorts of uh, I guess strengthening of the border, uh, specifically uh, Arizona, California, that kind of thing, where you were once governor. But also in there is a, is a possibility that you can uh, nullify some of the provisions in that. In other words, you may be able to use a waiver to push uh, some of the interest in other areas. Uh, is, is that something you wanted? And what, what would, you, would you have any worry about maybe uh, one of your successors having that much power? Well, I think it's a very limited provision, and, and I think our intent would be to carry out the will of the Congress. It's a bipartisan bill. It's got strong Democratic and Republican support. Uh, I think the direction to the department is very clear. So our intent would be to carry, to carry the will of the Congress out. We're talking to Janet Napolitano. She is, of course, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Defense. Uh, Janet, around here, it's a, a lot of folks from Mexico live in and right around the station here. And we also have a lot of folks who are types of Eastern European and uh, Western European immigrants. Mm -hmm. And uh, on a regular basis, we get the phone calls, especially from these European immigrants that my, uh, my parents and, or my parents or grandparents or their grandparents came over here legally. And now you have a, a lot of folks, not just from Mexico, but from other areas that have come over here illegally. And now we're rewarding their illegal activities. What do you say to those folks? Well, I, I don't think we're rewarding illegal activities. I think we're providing a mechanism by which those who have violated our law 
uh, can come forward and, you know, pay a pretty stiff fine, uh, pay penalties, um, agree to some other requirements. Uh, and over a period of a number of years, uh, probably uh, close to 13 years when you add everything together, they can finally uh, earn their way back to citizenship, which is the ultimate privilege. So uh, there is a sanction for violating the law. Uh, what the what the bill recognizes, however, is is that without without such a way for people to to come forward, so they can get right with the law, we're going to continue in in kind of the unacceptable position we are now, where you've got uh, you know 10 million or so illegally in the country, and kind of this gray area. Uh, they can be uh, exploited. Um, they can be paid less than minimum wage, and that undercuts wages for American workers. Many of them don't pay into our tax system or our Social Security trust. The independent analysis of the legislation shows that simply by adding these individuals to our tax rolls and our Social Security rolls, we will reduce the deficit almost $200 billion in the first 10 years, another $700 billion in the next 10 years, and we'll add $200 billion to our Social Security trust fund, which will aid in it, uh, its continued solvency. So, uh, you know, recognizing the problem for what it is, and giving us a firm and fair solution to that helps in a number of ways. Janet, final question. Uh, over time here, uh, immigration reform has been a huge topic on, the, on these airwaves right here on the southern end of the Chicago metropolitan area. i got to tell you, every time right now I try to get people to talk about it, there is little or no interest in this topic right now. I don't know if they're resigned to the fact that immigration is reform is coming or if there's just so much other stuff going on. Do you see uh, less attention to the matter now, and if so, why? Well, that's hard for me to speculate, probably a little bit of both. There are lots of other things going on in people's lives, and uh, that's part of it. Part of it is that uh, I think there's a broad emerging national consensus on the need to solve this problem, to deal with it comprehensively as a whole. And as you've seen the, the bill materialize and introduced by a bipartisan group, four Democrats, four Republicans, go to committee, be amended in committee, still come out with a very heavy bipartisan vote. Now coming on at the U.S. Senate floor, still heavy bipartisan support. I think that kind of support merely reflects the fact that there's a growing national consensus here. Janet Napolitano, head of the Department of Homeland Security. We are proud to have you on the WJOB Airwaves. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Talk to you. Bye-bye now. Bye.